The next morning, as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. He noticed a fig tree in full leaf a little way off. So he went over to see if he could find any figs. But they were only leaves because it was too early in the season for fruit. Then Jesus said to the tree, May no one ever eat your fruit again. And the disciples heard him say it. When they arrived back in Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out the people buying and selling animals for sacrifices. He knocked over the tables of the money changers and the chairs of those selling doves, and he stopped everyone from using the temple as a marketplace. He said to them, The scriptures declare, My temple will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. When the leading priests and teachers of religious law heard what Jesus had done, they began planning how to kill him, but they were afraid of him because the people were so amazed at a teaching. That evening, Jesus and the disciples left the city. Good day, Church. As we remember the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ this Holy Week, have you ever thought or wondered what had transpired during Holy Monday? If you want to be refreshed, and ganahan ka makabalo, asa na siya, nga, asa ang pasya niyo mabasahon, makikita niyo siya sa Mark chapter 11, verse 12 to 18. And if you read it, kita niyo dito sa mga verses and sa passage we're in, Jesus cursed a fig tree and even Jesus cleansed the temple. So, unsa may mga pagtulunan atong makuha when Jesus cursed the fig tree? So, Jesus actually saw a fig tree which has many leaves or nai, nai dahon pero mulay bunga. And ang um, fig tree, pwede mo siya picture out is as the nation of Israel. And because of their disobedience sa ginoo, and wala nila nabuhat ang mga ilang ilang obligations na as part of God's people, they became fruitless and cursed. Here comes the cleansing of Jesus of the temple. Jesus came to the temple and saw that people are not using the temple as it is. It's supposed to be a place of worship. Ang ibuhat sa mga tao is that they do business and Jesus looking at them, uh, consumed with his zeal for the house of the Lord and drove them off. So, ang atong malearn din no, is that as a Christian, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That's why we should use our body or conduct our body which is honoring the sa ginoo. And not just na gamito na itong lawas for our personal gain that does not glorify God. So, mawag siya ang mga pagtulunan na makuha ito sa Holy Monday.